Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast, and I am just checking in on you. My voice is still fucked up. I got two more records, people. Episode 9 and number 10. We are uh, just broke number 10. We're almost done, which means old freckles. He's then going to do, be doing a bunch of spots around Los Angeles, getting ready for my European tour, 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 tour. Yeah, 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 which starts off in Dublin, Ireland. Dublin, Ireland. And uh, you know what's funny is I tried to, on, on July 31st, it starts off, and I tried to get a, you know, get a direct flight to the Emerald Isle, and the, uh, at this point, because I waited so long to get the fucking tickets, um, you know, which is a whole other story in itself, you know what I mean, because I'm going to take a vacation with my wife afterwards, and she was trying to figure out where the fuck we were going to go, and I was like, lady, you better fucking figure out a place soon, because this is going to cost me a fortune there, um, so uh, turns out, the, out of LAX, the only two Airlines, there was Aer Lingus and um, uh, what the fuck is it? Oh, Jesus, I already forgot the name of the, what the hell's the name? Ethiopian Airlines. <laughs> Figure that one out. I don't want to fly Ethiopian Airlines unless I'm going to like, you know, Ethiopia. Aer Lingus, that's the Irish one, you know? Is that weird? Like if I'm going to go to the Middle East, I want to fly you, uh, that whatever United Air Emirates. I don't. It's this weird superstition that I have. Like the people at Ethiopian Airlines don't care because they're flying to Ireland. Does that make any sense? It doesn't. That's just how scary flying is. Like if I'm going to Poland, I want a couple of Polish guys flying it, despite all the jokes about them. Hey, how many Polish guys does it take to fly a plane? A fucking hopefully two of them. You know, that studied <laughs> all the shit they needed to know. So Aer Lingus was more expensive. And I said, well, fuck it. I'm going to take that. I don't even know if that's the Irish one. For some reason, I think that's the one with the four leaf clover. Oh, is it? Has it got a leprechaun on the fucking tail fin? Let me look this up. Aer Lingus, Lottie. Every Irish guy's giving me shit about my bad accent. Like, I give a fuck. All right, Aer Lingus, images. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a three-leaf clover. Put another fucking leaf on there, you cunts. Make me feel a little better. Oh, Jesus. Is that the best plane they got? Oh, boy. That looks like some shit from the early 70s. All right, let's look at Air Ethiopia. We're Ethiopian Airlines. There's no food on this plane. Sorry, Ethiopian Airlines. Let's see what we got here. What do we got here? I'm not going to lie to you. Both these planes don't look... These, neither one of these are very... Uh... Oh, look at the stewardesses. They look pretty... Fuck, they didn't have any stewardess for the Irish ones. They're probably all hammered. Could I have any more stereotypes in this? Um, all right, they both look professional. Who's kidding who? You know what it is? Once you travel outside of your own country, you know what I mean? I fly American Airlines. I fly United. I fly shit that I've heard of. I've always done that, except early on in my career when I used to fly like fucking, oh, what the fuck was that one? It was Air something or other. I flew, flew like ATA. I mean, you, you flew on that fucking airlines. It was like like the, the cabin to the, the, the cockpit was open. They were up there playing like Connect Four and shit. It was, it was really bad. I'm t- I'll tell you, it was bad, you know? Um, no, it was. It was just like, it was the weirdest thing. You'd be in, in, an, in an airport and just feeling like you were in America and then you'd get on ATA and you literally felt like you were leaving a war-torn country. Like you're just looking around like, where the fuck did all these extras come from? Am I, am I, in, a, am I in some fucking... Uh, George Clooney movie? That's some important George. <laughs> One of those f- selling arms for some shit, you know? A very important story that needed to be tell, w- told. We are filmmakers, and this is what we do. You know, George, they said this script was floating around Hollywood for a while. Well, you know, I'm good looking, and I said I'm going to do it, so it got made. 